All right, hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, I'm here. Go for it. I'm Kane from uh, Austin, Minnesota. Kane Mill, um, deck integrationist there at Ellis Middle School. I'm Tom Murray, director of innovation for Future Ready Schools. So I'm down here in Florida, the Fet C, learning a lot, having some fun. Pretty much everything I've been talking about. So we were just talking about professional development. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? So when we were looking at professional learning, part of our conversation was really what is it that actually works? Yeah. You know, on the good thing, working nationally, we've seen a tremendous change in the past five or six years, um, for the most part. Yeah. You know, we still have districts that did it the way they did 15 or 20 years ago. At the end of the day, the top down, one size fits all, sit and get, hours based accountability really doesn't do anything for student achievement from a research end. Yeah. So how do we shift that? Right. So we're having a good conversation on how do we get teachers involved as part of the process. Right. What are your thoughts? And then, you know, it was just making those first steps away from that. Everybody in the same room getting the exact same thing. Um, you brought up the idea of, of getting the teachers involved, getting their opinions, doing a survey. Uh, where is their their uh, happiness or, or uh, where they're at with the current model of, of development in yeah. schools and well, the, moving forward? When you were putting this together, uh, like I was in the back corner, and the one guy was saying that he, they did a professional development, escape the, escape the classrooms. Mm -hmm. Around the dish, around the building, and they said it was the best one they had. You know, they were all in engaged. Yeah, right? I get to work with a lot of administrators around the country, yeah. and one of the things that I really push them on is every time we bring people together, it's an opportunity to model. Right. So if I'm an administrator and I'm leading professional learning, and it's sit and get, yeah. lecture style, whole group, how in the same vein can I turn around and tell my teachers not to do yeah, that? Yeah. Right. The story I shared in our session was <coughs> was my learning through failure in that, you know, yeah. and learning the hard way of not modeling for my staff. And so for professional learning, really one of the essential questions is, do teachers feel like professional learning is something that's done to them or something they're a vital part of? Right. I think that's a good way to kind of wrestle with that. And that was like our, our thing last year. Like we sat in auditorium for hours. <laughs> you know, everybody's looking at each other, just bored. Yeah. Like, I, I don't want to do that. You know, and we learn learned from, from that. So, yeah. so hopefully, you know, we'll yeah. change the mantra. It, and, yeah, it's yeah. interesting. I, the good thing about professional learning across the country, like I said, it is shifting. People are valuing some of the non-traditional things whether it's an ed camp, using social media, people value that. But in still in many places, it's, well, that's all nice, but that doesn't count. Right, right. You know, one of the things I often share is when we measure that seat time, we, me we measure the wrong end of the learner. Right. Because the hours versus accountability, I think there's almost this false idea that hours measure accountability, right. which is just silly. I mean, take that with kids. If we have kids for 12 hours, does that indicate how much they've all learned? Of course not. Because right. you have kids that didn't learn a thing and kids that were pretty high up. It's what we do at that time. Yeah. And so sometimes we'll say, but my state department. And yeah, yeah. Fortunately, I'm in a position. I work with about 40 of the different state departments. Right. And they're trying to move it forward. They get it. And so just the notion, though, of hours equals learning is just silly. Yeah. Because if we could do 500 hours of, of professional learning, but nothing shifts in the classroom. It's ultimately a waste of time. Right. Yeah. So well, we're not in the car. Favorite song? Oh, favorite song. I got to go. Bon Jovi, Living on a Prayer. Nice. Because when I get to speak, sometimes I make sure people sing that for me. So. Now, um, he's from Minnesota, so I'm an Eagles fan, so this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee it's not Fly, Eagles, Fly. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go back in black with ACDC. I'm going to end on that. Have a great day, everybody.